Hello, this is Moses, and this will be a short tutorial on the basics of using a refinery to extract tags and use them in a scenario that you have already set up. So this tutorial will be continuing from the previous one about how to set up a Halo Custom Edition editing environment. The editing environment that we created in the previous video is right here and is exactly the same as the way we left it in the previous video. The only difference is I have added a map, Revelations. Uh, this is a protected map, so we will be deprotecting it and extracting tags from it to use in uh, the scenario we are going to compile. A link to the map will be provided in the video description. So first off, what is Refinery? Refinery is a program that I wrote which is capable of extracting tags and data from Halo 1, 2, and 3 maps. It cannot extract tags from Halo 2 maps and the Halo 3 extraction is more or less experimental at this point. So the main thing you will be using it for is extracting tags from Halo 1 maps. It can extract them from every version of Halo 1 maps, uh, which includes uh, Stubbs the Zombie, all of the Xbox maps, and the Shadowrun prototype. So first things first, now that we have it open, uh, we are going to load the protected map revelations and as you will see after it's done loading all of the tags have messed up classes they're all invalid and all of the tag names are protected so as it is right now we can't get anything out of it not anything worthwhile so first we're going to set up our extraction directories these are the directories that when you tell Refinery to extract a tag, these are what uh, Refinery will default to. So right now I'm setting up the tags extraction folder, which will be our Halo test tags folder. And the data folder, uh, we will actually have to create one. We won't be using it right now, but might as well set it up. And might as well set up a tags list. This is simply a text file that will uh, timestamp and list every tag that we've extracted. So these are what Refinery will default to when you extract a tag. Um, recursive extraction, overwrite tags, and print extracted tag names. These are saved when Refinery is closed, and they will be used as defaults for these. This tags list and the extraction directory are defaulted to from these. So, since we need to deprotect it, one of the things we will need to do is set up our deprotection settings. Fixed tag classes, since all of the tags are invalid, we will definitely need to have this checked. Heuristics, this is a deprotection method I created which will more or less break the map wide open. It will rename everything to something worthwhile and is pretty much the only way you're going to get anything useful out of a map like this. Uh, we will keep all of these settings as they are. Do not rename non-protected tag paths. That essentially means if a tag has a name that doesn't start with protected, it will not be renamed by heuristics. Tool has a limit on the number of characters that a tag path can be, and these two settings are meant to try and keep the heuristics renaming low enough to where you can actually extract the tags. So now that those settings are all set up, Let's run the deprotection. Let's rename it to Revelations Deprotected. 
So this will take a moment. I'm going to cut this part out of the video. All right, so now that that is done, uh, it took 101 seconds, not, not bad. Let's take a look at our map. So as you can see, there are no longer any protected tags. Um, vehicles, so we've got a custom vehicle here called the Kraken. And this is the tag we will be extracting. Um, the only tag we are actually going to put in the extraction queue is kraken.vehicle and we will check recursive extraction. Essentially what that does is it tells Refinery to grab every tag that the Kraken vehicle needs. Since the Kraken vehicle re will reference other tags, it will be referencing its gearbox model, its animations, its collision, physics, and everything else. Let's extract it to Halo test. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's set it to overwrite tags. I personally don't care if it overwrites anything, uh, since this is just a test. So add to queue and run extraction. So 240 tags, 1.8 seconds. So that should be everything. We can close refinery. And then we can add the vehicle to the map and compile it. However, there's a little catch. So the map already has six multiplayer vehicles in it, two Warthogs, a Ghost, Banshee, and the Scorpion. Um, you can't add more than six vehicles to a multiplayer map and have it spawn them in-game. So instead, all we're going to do is add the vehicle to the cheat globals and then directly spawn the vehicle through the use of a cheat command. So to do that, I'm going to use Mozzarella to edit the globals tag. First, uh, Mozzarella needs to know where the tags directory root is, so we're going to set a tags directory by clicking that and then locating it. So now, go into the globals and globals.globals. .globals. Again, this is just a test. This is not how you would actually add another vehicle to the map. Where is it? Multiplayer information, vehicles. So as you can see, there are six vehicles here. We're going to add another and then navigate to the Kraken that we just extracted. So there we go. Save it. And now we can run pool. And since pool is going to be using the Halo Custom Edition uh, tool, the one located in program files, we will need to use the CWD directive to tell uh, tool to work in another directory. This is something that only pool can do. So we're going to tell it to work in the Halo test directory. And now use the K directive to keep all windows open so that you can see what's going on. And now we will actually build the map. Locate the test scenario and process. Uh, meter definition, these aren't actually errors. That's just, don't worry about that. So it built just fine. Don't care about that. Close that. So now we have a new map, uh, test.map, that has the Kraken in it, and we can spawn it using a cheat code. So copy and paste it into where you're actually running Halo Custom Edition from. Paste it into the Maps folder. And we'll be running Halo Custom Edition. Um, to actually use cheats, you need to have the dev mode shortcut set up with console and dev mode. 
so I've already got a shortcut like that. So now we will run Halo. Alright, so it doesn't matter what game type we've set it to because we will be spawning with a cheat. Slayer. And as you can see, this is the bipeds here from the last video. So I don't want it to crush me when it spawns because it'll spawn above me. So I'm going to get in here. Cheat. All. Vehicles. Oh, that's a big boy. So this is the Kraken. And we successfully added it to the map. And it is way too big for this map. I guess that will conclude this tutorial.